the uh, German team that is also strong and the Colombian team that is also strong. I mean, those three teams have been uh, in the podium for the last years and, and that are the favorites. So the game started, uh, Norway got the ball and they're already under the basket of the Austrians and uh, they uh, are being kept away by the um, defense but they catch uh, <laughs> every uh, women that got the ball in and recover very uh, close to the to the Austrian basket and now they're uh, continue with the attack three blue against one white and they well, just recover holding. the Austrians yep um, but it was quite a risky situation, but c they continue. I mean, they continue bombarding this once against one, and that was a score because the goalkeeper was really pretty much mm, just, you know, the, the, the defense just crumbled. Yeah, yeah the defense really just struggling. broke down. Yeah, and well, but, it, you know, I think, I mean, it's not that the, the defense just broke down. Actually, it is that the uh, Norwegian team really forced it to break down. Yes, absolutely. I mean, yeah, it broke uh, down because of the avalanche of the of a current. Uh, they wouldn't do it if there wouldn't a be other players in the pool. They beat up a lot of pressure and now we are three meters away of the Austrian basket trying to recover the ball. And we have another Norwegian just got the ball. It was two Austrians that tried to sub it, but, uh, you know, well, didn't Austria, success, it looks so to me Austria is, is, uh, should take a timeout and uh, um, restructure and just uh, take a breath because they are overrun by the, the speed and the force of a car. And the problem is, you, yeah, you just have one time out in the two times, True. so and you just started, so maybe let's. <laughs> and if they're already out of breath or overwhelmed with the situation, that I can understand, they think they need to recover while playing. Um, if I would be the trainer of the Austrians, I wouldn't take a time out right now. Yeah, though a strong Austria is in ball possession and uh, Akaran lets them test out their uh, defense and it's uh, no question who's in uh, uh, game control here. Akaran already uh, took away the ball from uh, Austria, from uh, the Vienna team and uh, is going on the basket from Vienna and you could can see how the, the, the insecurities of the defense of Austria, they try to, to hold on and uh, they use a mistake from a Karen and uh, uh, get the ball, but they, uh, they uh, Karen is so farther. fast, they hold, uh, get a hold of the ball and uh, score on the empty basket. They don't get farther than three meters away yeah. from their basket with the ball, I mean. It's the moment they have the ball, they are under attack and lose it because you see it in the Austrian uh, thinking, oh, what I'm going to do next? And that's the moment they lose the ball and, and the, the, the Akara well, and the Norway team I score. I think it's not that they are thinking, I mean, what to do next? They're just trying to swim away, but I kind of give them the chance. Well, they I should. mean, they really, uh, the four checking from Akara is really remarkable. Now there are three on the goalkeeper, that is Alongo, doing a really good job. Uh, one of the Austrians just uh, arrived. Very well done, help, Austria. Yeah, recovered the ball. Um, they're trying, but look, it's two blue against one white, that's the Austrian girl and recover again and then keep play, play, doing pressure three are on the water one right one left one fighting with the ball to be we have a another, score, another score and uh, this is going to be harder and harder for uh, vienna because with all that pressure you're constantly pushed on your basket and uh, if you cannot go into offense it's a continuously breakdown on your condition on your uh, strength yeah, because every time you defend you are following the pace of the other team exactly and, that's and the pace of a car in this is, is, very is very fast you can see they're in prime condition and for them uh, it turned it looks more and more like an uh, exercise uh, attacking the basket but this is a free throw uh, against a Karen. I don't know why one of the current players is taking away the basket from uh, Austria because it's uh, against the current. She should swim on the other side. Why not we hear a bit more what the referees are saying? Um, so free throw against the current and that gives uh, Austria a little bit uh, space to breathe and uh, to restructure. Let's see how far they go into uh, the free throw. But already the ball receiver is under attack and the ball is lost to our current players who go in three on the counter attack and are already back at the 
uh, Austrian basket. It's three against two. But, okay, they did a good job defending. They're still in position. I think Austria has to adjust to the speed. And uh, you could see it, it's really hard to, to switch from, the, from offense against such a fast uh, uh, attack into defense. So... Um, yeah, the speed of a Karen is, is, is it's amazing. Is it's it's is very higher good. than the, yeah. the Austrian. It doesn't look like they, uh, they have 11 players. It looks like uh, they have more players uh, they could use to. But um, in the end, it's not a demanding game for a Karen. Nevertheless, Austria uh, takes the wall, which was a strange pass down from one of the Karen players into the hands of the uh, Austrian goalkeeper. And we're now in the middle half, and Austria is trying to hold on to the ball under heavy attack from a current players. But uh, they succeed, although they are pressed back. And now we have a chance. One of the Austrian players is swimming to the Norwegian basket, stopped two meters in front of the, three meters in front of the basket, and there's a call from the referee. It's a free throw again against a Karen. So the Orcas are walking in behind us and uh, back in the game we have a free throw uh, from Austria but intercepted intercepted uh, by Akaren and uh, but nevertheless uh, um, <laughs> Austria is doing quite a good job uh, in keeping Akaren busy here in the middle of the pool and uh, after um, having to accept four goals against them uh, they do still quite a good job uh, and courageous job to defend to fend off a current and uh, they're getting better and better in this as uh, so far as i can see it yeah they're and like uh, um, racing they're growing. up the speed a little yeah. bit yeah they're exactly. growing with the task <coughs> sorry so uh, um, here we go again uh, a current lost the ball in front of the austrian basket and a current re uh, recovered it and here a current back again on the basket but uh, it takes them more time now to score. And uh, nevertheless, here it is. 5-0, a current against, a current from Norway against uh, UWRC um, from uh, Austria. So, yeah, I guess uh, a current is up to the Champions Cup. Uh, they are uh, up to the task to be one of the top teams. And... Uh, this is a warm-up exercise for them. And uh, they control the game in, uh, in their favor. Even though now we have Austria in attacking mode, but they cannot get through. They cannot get into a dangerous, <coughs> in the dangerous area uh, of their current basket. They are stopped before and lose the ball. And here's a current again, one-on-one -on -one situation on the open side going. The attacker is going for the head, but is stopped by the defenders. And uh, nevertheless, it goes one wave after the other. The ball is loose, recovered by an uh, Austrian player. They don't really manage to get farther away than three, four meters. Uh, they are still doing a great job. They don't give up. Yeah. They continue fighting. Indeed. They, they uh, speed up a little bit their game. They try to adjust. Uh, so that's also not easy to do. It's not they easy not to do when they are not yet broken. Advantage. You see when a, when a team is broken yeah, in a way, they, they, yeah. they, just, uh, they just want to escape. Yeah. And in here, Austria is really like putting everything in the water they have. It's not enough to stop a current, but it's enough to be, uh, to they can be proud of themselves yeah. what they do here in this they're game. They're playing the best they can. They're trying uh, to keep on the positions of the defense and Akaren uh, is not having it really easy. I mean, they are great players, they are very uh, fast, they know what they're doing, they have a lot of experience, but uh, Austria is putting up a good fight. Nevertheless, it's 5 0, uh, 5 scores in 10 minutes. Still okay, I've seen worse. Worse, yeah, you've seen well, worse. Now Oops, almost you make a two so counter attack and on arrive an open in an basket. Empty was an empty basket and Akaren. Uh, uh, scored in this open basket and I think Austria will be happy this first half is over and they can uh, process what happened in this first half but nevertheless again a 6-0 against Akaren and Akaren is doing a, a very nice game they're warming up building their attack 
and uh, going into the water, testing, and this is a good exercise for them for their next game. And for Austria, here we go, they, they don't give up. You see, they get the ball and they, they want to. It's not like uh, they ask themselves what I'm doing in this pool. They want to win this game what, with whatever they can. And uh, they don't have the, all the means yet. But nevertheless, we see quite an improved team to the last years. I think Austria is uh, quite a, getting quite there. Well, yeah, I mean, they participate also in the European Championship this year. And uh, I think most of the players that were in the championship in Helsinki are here today. So they're growing together as a team. Uh, it's another, you know, almost six or four or five months uh, in between Helsinki and today. And uh, I believe they learned a lot there and they're growing. So that's, that's you know, that's amazing. Um, yep. that that's what we need in other easy. water rugby, uh, changing teams with... Uh, uh, with with new teams coming in, learning. Yeah, and when you have challenge. new teams that you lose, you can lose twenty to zero. It's very discouraging yeah. to have you know to to willing to, to to keep up the the motivation to continue training and to know that maybe it's going to be one or two or maybe three years until you can be uh, one of the of the with more successful teams. So um, that's very. Um, Promising. I say not promising, but it's uh, loyable that they yeah. they know that they continue and they don't uh, lose hope and, uh, and the team grows and and gets better. And one of the players uh, of the uh, Austrian team is uh, Julia Brownek. With her, we did uh, yesterday the first uh, underwater rugby academy, which was a uh, super success for us. Uh, it was uh, more we ever hoped for, and uh, we wanted to create a space where. Uh, we have uh, underwater rugby players, referees and coaches have time to talk with each other, exchange knowledge and think of ways how to improve underwater rugby uh, globally. And I think uh, it was a super success, especially with the help of Julia Brownek, who um, put all of what we said into graphic details uh, on, on the paper. She painted it with text and papers and uh, that's what we have to harvest there with pictures and uh, we will provide them for you in the future. So stay tuned with the Underwater Rugby Academy. And uh, yeah, I think it was a quite excess what we did yesterday. What do you think, Lorena? Yep, uh, it was really good. I mean, all of the participants that came were really happy and surprised um, of what we got there, the exchange, the connection, the ideas, and that's the first steps into uh, um, the right direction for rugby, hopefully to grow up directly from the community and, and create more a platform um, for everyone to access of knowledge um of connections so that uh yeah we can help this uh, sport to develop uh in other grow. countries and to grow yeah so, so uh, I was just five seconds left the, i think vienna i mean the women uh they weren't last year there um they were uh, in 2015 the last time so here we go uh start of the second half of the fourth game uh, here, Champions Cup uh, 2017, it's the 29th uh, Champions Cup and uh, we have 220 uh, visitors on our live stream, welcome everybody and this is the second half, a uh, current from Norway against uh, Vienna from uh, Austria, Vienna in white, Akarin in blue, and Akarin is already attacking the Austrian basket from the close side, they're above the basket, ball is pushed down to a waiting player for Anna Karen and they build up the pressure and Austria is really under heavy pressure here on the basket after the break. Yes, but look, you still have the problem is you have right now four people on the water, five. And the moment they will need a player to swim away with the ball, exactly that happened. No one is there and then you lose. So it's great what well, they're uh, fighting, but they need to look that they are not all at, at the same time on the water because otherwise um, it won't work. Referees in this game uh, in the water are Kaiser Lindmann and Jochen Beckmann and the deck referee is uh, Birgit Lüchte. So it's a 6-0 for Akaren and uh, uh, I think Austria, if, she could, if they can make it uh, under uh, less than 10 goals, they could be really proud of, uh, of uh, their game. Yes, I think so too. Now you have two against two, or I mean three wide ones around the basket, 
fighting for the ball, but you know, there's always one of the uh, the um, um, Norwegians underneath the buzzer. That's amazing. It's like they had that position yeah. taken. And, and it's, it takes them not much effort. It doesn't look like much effort for the uh, Karen players to no, get the ball they, they away from, the, from I mean, the Austrian players in a one on one fight. They have a very efficient. Uh, Technique Way, and tactic. Yeah. I mean, they really, you, you see them relax until they attack, and then you see the tension in the body, they go, they do, and they re and then recover. It's really. Uh, they, I they are fast, they are strong, and they have a plan. And uh, it's not, uh, it's because of these uh, uh, things uh, they know how to do. They are uh, one of the champions of the Champions Cup, and here we go again. They score. It's a 7 0 against uh, Vienna, but nevertheless. The defending of Vienna was really, they put everything in the water they have and they do a good job here. Uh, a lot of courage there and a lot of motivation. There is no break uh, in, their, in their playing because you see it when a, when a team gives up and that's not happening here. No, 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 they're constant in the defense. Uh, what they do, they, they try to get the position and a current uh, has to really fight and continue to build up waves of attack so that they can score. Now they have a, they're very fast in the counter attack. It's just one against one, but it's get um, yeah. Well, the one of the Austrians could defend it and get the ball. Now they pass it to one of the defenders that was underneath the basket. Pass it again. That was a very nice chain of uh, passes, but they lost the ball and the two occurrences just got it counter-attack and are underneath the goalkeeper again but look I mean you have no you rarely see the goalkeeper alone okay eventually the blue team scores because they're stronger but they you, you always see at least two players on the water from the defender team from the options in this case um, and that's uh, yeah well that's good that they are doing really what they can I mean there's there's a, a very big uh, gap in between if you compare the experience, the technique, the tactic mm. of the one team, the Norwegians in this case, and the Austrians. But for that gap, what the Austrians are doing is great. I mean, um, and, and the game of Akaden is really, uh, I mean, I really like to watch it. It's so free. Uh, it's, it just flows. Yes, yes, um, yes. I, I'm really... Uh, looking forward to to see the the Germans, the Colombians, and the Norwegians yeah. play against each other to see how <laughs> I mean how it's going to all be. they will I mean, compete the against each exactly, other exactly yeah. because all of the three are fast and, and strong we have another and have different tactics. Yeah. And we have another score. It's nine zero, and I think they will break uh, the the ten zero barrier soon. Um, yeah, and it's, it's really difficult. What, what the strategy Austria is, is doing is all they can do. They try to defend and get away with the ball. But uh, the, the, the interruptions by Akaren are so fast. They, you see the Australian team doesn't have time to re-switch and go into the, yeah. the, the mode to, to do what they have to do in the second. They, they lose the ball. You know, the problem is, they sh uh, for me, they need to play a little bit um, t more together. When they do the pass, they're too far away, and the Norwegians just swim between. Uh, if they would, you know, try to when they have the ball, the ball, and then try to control it by really playing it uh, faster and to a closer uh, player, that would help them. But like that, it takes too long for them to do the pass, so they're already under pressure under the attack of the Norwegian. Uh, and then when they man manage to do a pass, the 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 the, the, the next player is just too far away for the tactic of the Norwegian and they swim in between also for the speed so like that um, they are being wore out because every time they get the ball it takes too long for them to pass they are attacked by the Norwegians and that costs a lot of uh, effort and if you think that they are just defending and constantly going up and down um, that's also uh, very uh, exhausting and adjusting to the pace of the Norwegians, uh, that's really, uh, that makes all very, very hard for them. But nevertheless, they are, they're putting up a great game. Now they have 10-0, but uh, I think that that's, you know, they're it's fighting. A timeout. That's I guess it's a timeout from uh, uh, Austria. Yeah, they get uh, instructions from uh, their coach and um, he tells them at least how they can uh, uh, keep away the current players and uh, use the space they have to build up their own game 
and uh, he's, he's really showing them the, the way they should uh, uh, move and holding the ball. So this is a life experience. They are learning here a lot. I think for Karen, really, it's a, it's a warm-up. Um, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I would like to see Austria against, uh, for example, Barcelona. Well, they're having the first uh, game tomorrow morning against Izmir and the, against the Turkish team. That would be also interesting to see. I, I haven't seen Izmir in a few years. Let me check when was the last time they were here. And um, I really uh, cannot... Uh, guess i mean uh, how much is, i mean it's going to be if there's going to be a difference uh, from the technique and the tactic and the condition so again uh, austria tried to break through the half uh, uh, of uh, the the middle of the pool didn't succeed lose the ball and karen is now in the closed corner and building up uh, their attack and coming now with a a little shortcut uh, on the open side and the ball is again on the close side. They are passed really fast back and forth. So the defense of Austria lose the side of the ball. And we have another score here, uh, which was like uh, quite effortless for Karen. And it's a little bit more than three minutes left here in Champions Cup 2017. And it's the fourth game of the day. And we're in the second half. Uh, Karen from Norway against Austria. Uh, the team from UWRC Vienna. Um, here we go again. An attack, two current players against two Austrian players, and the attack comes from the, to the head of the goalkeeper from the close side. Uh, this attack was uh, interrupted, but the second attack from the open side against the back of the goalkeeper succeeded seconds later. So it's a, a common view we have here in this game. At least the third attack uh, is successful and uh, is in with a, with a score in the Austrian basket. Yeah, I mean, they're great in building up the attack in waves. So they continue. There's always uh, one of the players underneath the basket just waiting to receive the ball. They're very successful as well when they do the forward checking. Well, but now, uh, wow, well, one of the Austrian, uh, Austrians uh, got the ball and was almost uh, had the chance to attack against... Uh, and that gives a you a push. If you, if you break through against such a team and you're at least in touchable distance of the basket, it touch gives you a push. Touchable distance. Touchable distance. Even touch the goalkeeper, yeah. Touch and go. Uh, sadly, it was not enough. But now it's two uh, Norwegians coming against the goalkeeper, trying to attack and... Uh, we have the Austrians in position, trying to keep up with the attack. But you know, this is typical. The Norwegians attack a lot from above, and again, the goalkeeper was removed, and the ball is in the basket for so the thirteenth, thirteenth time. So thirteenth <laughs> time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a hard lesson for Austria, but I think one they will uh, learn well, and they are getting better. And we will see a better team each year uh, if they stay together and build up uh, what they're doing here. So a little bit more than one and a half, a uh, little bit less than one and a half minutes left in the second half, a count from Norway against yeah. uh, Vienna from Austria. Well, at least uh, the Austrians will have time to recover until tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning, huh, if they can. It's the last game for today? Well, for, for the Vienna si. uh, women team, yes. Uh, actually also from Akaren, I mean, a lot of the, um, the only one that played twice today is Barcelona. Okay, here we have again one of these fast counter attacks With three. from uh, three against one. from a Karen and no defender there. So a Karen, the attack of a Karen goes directly with all the force of the swimming on the goalkeeper, but they didn't succeed in this time. And uh, Austria succeeds in pulling away the ball and. Uh, keeping it in a distance from the basket but the basket was empty now and this is the the time when the when the defense structure starts to crumble um, but they this time they managed to uh, recover and uh, a current is building up uh, their uh, attack and uh, it's it's really nice to see Austria uh, yeah. not giving up. It's for no, every no, no, ball. No. They fight for every yes. ball. And, uh, and if, if you if have the, the the players into position, you yeah. have enough players on the water. It's just 
um, they are not so so effective with the technique uh, and, and recovering the ball. Okay, the decision the, from the, uh, the no no time's over. Oh yeah. Now we have uh, 13, time is over. Thirteen, 13 goals. For